Hi there YouTube, Extreme Trains here. So in this video we're taking a look at uh, what I believe is the final engine from the Wave 1 of the Thomas & Friends All Engines Go metal engine, push along engine, whatever you want to call them. It is Kenji, who I finally managed to pick up at a retail store in Australia. Uh, really excited to check out this final addition to my collection. So what are you waiting for? Let's do it. Kenji's packaging, uh, pretty much exactly the same as we've seen for all the other engines. You can see right up front the price tag I paid for this, which is $13, which is slightly more expensive because I bought this from a specialty toy store, um, which hadn't actually stocked Thomas and Friends items for about three or four years, but they have received AEG stock. So Mattel's really going hard on that. Uh, and then you've just got the classic stuff on the back. That's all boring. Let's open him up. All right, here's Kenji out of his packaging. Let's take a quick look. Uh, my first disclaimer is I haven't seen any AEG that had Kenji in it. I've seen some stills and he is definitely bigger than this, which is the first thing that uh, I will say about that. Um, you know, he's quite long, I believe, not the same size as Kana, but that said, let's take a look. That looks like a pretty good face from what I've seen of pictures of the show. Uh, we've got the nice headlight details there, even if they're kind of on the side, which is a bit weird. Um, that stripes there, that's nice. We've got the, again, the inset detailing of the windows, I think looks really good, as well as the cab up the top. Uh, the pantographs are there. Um, they're just blocks that are a little bit molded on the top. So, you know, not as good as, for example, the Thomas Wood one, which actually had a bit of a defined shape to it. Um, and again, we've got the wheels, but we don't have the little colored bits in the wheels, which we've been getting on the main characters, which is unfortunate. No coupling on the front, same as Kana, but we do have a unique piece. I originally thought this might be the same skirt piece, but they have made a unique one. And you come around to the back and there's again, quite a lot of detail here on the back. Uh, you can see very clearly the metal part, which is this bottom bit, and then the top of the roof, which is all plastic. Um, on the bottom, you can see we've got Kenji here. Again, we've got that, that wheelbase. Uh, he comes with a quote-unquote coach tender. Uh, again, this is kind of a weird one. It's similar to what they did with Thomas Wood. They made, like, the coach a tender. Very small, obviously very shrunk. Pantograph details are the same. Door details are the same. We've got the same details on the front and back here. This one's all plastic. Um, the little kind of two-axle wheelbase we're used to from the tender engines. So then we've got Kenji there. So that's pretty much what he looks like. You put him together uh, and I think he is, you know, interesting looking. It's a little bit strange to see him pulling along such a small little carriage, but you know, it kind of is what it is in the scale of, you know, the weirdness that is AEG. I'm not really surprised that that's how they've decided to do him. Um, if we do a comparison to Kana, just to give you an idea of what we're talking about here, uh, you can see that he is substantially larger than Kana in terms of the amount of mass he takes up. Kana is a lot thinner uh, and sl and sleeker. He is a lot bigger and kind of fatter. So there's definitely more toy here than here, even though they are using very similar slash, I think the same wheelbase or chassis. Um, the rest is quite different, which is good. Um, and you'd hope so, because as you will have seen, uh, he does retail for the tender engine price point, which is that 12 or $13, depending on where you buy it from. Thankfully, this one, as I said, was correctly labeled with the right price. Do I think he is a $13 toy? Look, you know, this is always the question, isn't it? Um, I guess if you like Kenji, he is. Uh, for me, I don't have a lot of connection to the character, and I said I haven't seen any AEG episodes with him in it. Um, he's certainly visually less interesting than, for example, I think Hero is, who I think has a lot more happening with his model. Um, but, you know, he's another interesting character, mainly because he comes with the, the carriage, uh, which we haven't really seen much rolling stock if any, that's actually specific to this range. So it's nice to get a single carriage uh, to go with him. But yeah, I think if you like this kind of style of engine and you like Kenji, this is a pretty good model, um, but it's gonna have the same drawbacks as the entire AEG range and also the entire push along range. So that is gonna be up to you to decide. Um, but as I said, that's all we've got in this short little review of the AEG uh, push along Kenji. I'd love to know your thoughts down below about this item, but otherwise that's all we've got time for. This is Extreme Trains.